When you found Matthew chapter 13, verse 24 through 30, signified by saying Jesus. The Bible reads like this from the King James Version Bible. The rest of you, you can catch it with us. It says, and another parable put he unto them saying, the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst thou uh, not sow good seed in thy field? From whence then have it tares? He said unto them, An enemy have done this. The servant said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Here's the good part. Let both grow together until the harvest and in the time of the harvest will i say to the reapers gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them but gather the wheat into my barn i want you to help me announce my title tonight and look at your neighbor and scream at him and say hey neighbor i am the wheat ah, i'm in the wrong place Find you another neighbor and scream at him and say, Hey neighbor, I am the wheat. Hey, glory to God. Pat yourself on the chest and say, Oh yes, I am. I am the wheat. You can have your seats tonight. I am. I am the wheat. My brothers and sisters, I propose to you that healthy growth is possible even in the most detrimental situations. While we live in a world where so many are speaking heresy when they say things like the church is in trouble, or the church is not what it used to be, or the church is in danger. I believe they make those statements because they haven't read their Bible. When the Bible says upon this rock, I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I believe that the ecclesia, the church, the called out ones are very safe. The ones we're worried about are those tricky saints who are in one day and, you know, that's another sermon for another time. But according to our text, we learn, my brothers and sisters, that the power of producing healthy wheat is being properly rooted. Deeply rooted things can grow in almost any environment. Uh, there's a story, or better yet, there's an understanding about the vineyards of Lazarot on the island, uh, on, on the Canary Island, if you will. Uh, it is known for its harsh volcanic environment with little rainfall and rugged landscapes. Despite these seemingly unfavorable conditions, the island has become famous for its successful approach to what they call viticulture, which is the science of producing grapes for wine. These grapes grow in soil that's not really dirt, it's really ashes. They take the ashes and they put pits in the ashes and they put a little water with the seed and cover the ashes and it's something about the ashes that hold moisture. That even though it's not getting the proper light nor the proper rain, because of the science behind the sowing, these grapes grow in the most detrimental environments. Nothing can hinder the growth. 
I, 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 I want to talk to somebody tonight that's been buried in some ashes buried in mm -hmm, buried in stuff that normal things amen don't grow in normally if it's ashes it is a sign that something has been burned but even in the remains of burnt things good seed take root and comes and can still grow i don't know who i'm preaching to in here tonight but you want to look at your neighbor and say neighbor i'm so rooted in god that even the fire i just came out of that cremated some things around me don't have the power to destroy me but even in ashes still i ride lord i wish i was in the right church you ought to help me preach and look at somebody and tell them even in ashes still i ride You must understand tonight that the enemy hates any church, organization, business, family, hallelujah, or even ministry that's growing in a healthy way. And the enemy will do all he can to sow whatever seed of distraction and discord so that he can hinder healthy godly growth. Brothers and sisters, ministries distracted by Jezebels and the rise of sinful behavior and marriages distracted by ungodly influences and businesses distracted by competition. Good roots, my brothers and sisters, and wheat are distracted by weeds that are sown to bring discord amongst the growth. Oh God, I, I wish I had time because if I had time, I would talk about the spirit of manipulation that tries to seep into healthy growing environments to try to speak negativity against the things that are growing only so that they can build their own thing on the back of somebody who already has been working hard to build what God has assigned them. It is nothing more more than some weed trying to choke the growth that God's trying to bring but somebody ought to throw your head back and holler I am the wheat oh I'm in the wrong church I said throw your head back and declare it I am the wheat somebody ought to be putting this in the comments right now I am the wheat though Jezebel and distractions and discord and mess in ministry has tried to choke my growth the devil is a liar because I am the wheat though competition seeps in church to try to bring discouragement amongst ministries it ain't gonna uproot me because I am the wheat though messy church folk try to run my name in the mud to make me leave the church that God has rooted me in it ain't gonna work because I am the wheat though there are negative people who try to come in and be the pastor when they know they not the pastor it ain't gonna uproot me because I am I'm, I'm the wheat brothers and sisters so here's the question of the text how do I know I'm the wheat and not the weeds My brothers and sisters I know I'm the wheat and not the weeds when I'm fighting against the weeds if I had time I would tell you tonight we are not the same we are we are, the, the weeds and the weed are not the same and there is a demonic plot against pure good seed that God has rooted in good ground 
uh, Matthew my brothers and sisters is written amen to reveal uh, Jesus as king of the Jews you you must understand there are four different gospels with four different vantage points or approaches Matthew writes to the Jews while wow, amen you have Mark that writes uh, uh, to a broader audience who really doesn't have a relationship with God uh, this is why Mark writes to really reveal the miracle workings of Jesus Christ moving so swiftly you have Luke my brothers and sisters who writes a man to a Greek audience a, a an audience that is more advanced in their mindset that's why Luke writes with so many details because he's writing to those who may question certain things so Luke takes his time even with the birth account of Jesus and it is in the gospel according to Luke where he gives us the revelation of the immaculate conception hallelujah where you have Matthew who takes time to prove Jesus Jewish lineage so he gives us the 42 generations Mark says some folk ain't really worried about that so I really won't even take much time to reveal it but then you have John John is not really writing to prove that Jesus comes from a Jewish lineage he's not even writing with the mindset of Luke to give you all these finite details John says my job is to prove to you that Jesus is God in the beginning was the word and the word was with God hallelujah and the word hallelujah glory to God was made flesh and dwelt among us in verse 14 he's trying to prove to us my brothers and sisters that this Jesus we praise didn't just come on the scene when he came out the womb but he was always there he was there in the beginning he was there in the middle and he's even here right now he was always there because he is God he works hard to prove the oneness of God and I know some of you all call the Lord's prayer that our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name that ain't the Lord's prayer that's a model prayer because there's some things in that prayer Jesus came pray like father forgive me he can't pray for forgiveness or ask for forgiveness because according to Paul he knew no sin so since he knew no sin he can't repent of a sin he did no hallelujah to God so Jesus is only giving you a model prayer but Jesus prayer is in John chapter 17 when he says father I've done thy will I've glorified thy name I've lost none that you put into my hands Lord show them that you and I are one but my assignment tonight is not in Mark Luke or John my assignment tonight is in Matthew when Matthew my brothers and sisters is proving Jesus being the king of the Jews as we walk my brothers and sisters through the thrust of Matthew chapter 13 hallelujah this is really giving us the clarity or the power amen or wisdom of a kingdom sower it is here when we get to verses 24 through 30 that we see weeds among the wheat uh, uh, the good among the bad the text is showing us the battle of the pure and healthy fighting to grow amongst the destructive oh god i got to say that again we see the battle of the pure and the healthy fighting to survive amongst the plot and scheme of the enemy to be destructive my brothers and sisters to be defined a man as wheat is powerful because the text suggests that the wheat is that which is sown deep and strong and rooted my brothers and sisters the wheat is that that is of pure seed its motives are pure its inception is pure it came with the right motives you do know there are people who come to church every service who come with the wrong motive some of y'all are only here because you're looking for a boo after church 
oh bless his name here some of y'all are only here because you want to judge the church to make the church be a bad place to be but then my brothers and sisters there are pure hearted people that says when I went home and put on my clothes after work it wasn't so much about me looking good but I came tonight because I need an encounter oh bless his name here I need an experience with God I need God to do something down on the inside I need God to bring about a change and a revival in my life I don't care if I sit in the back the middle or the front if I can just get in the building oh God, I'm shy, and have an encounter with God that's the reason why I'm here see some of y'all you'll get offended if you don't park where you want to park if you don't sit where you want to sit if you don't get to be around the crowd you want to be around see some of y'all you a distraction because there's somebody sitting next to you that says I'm just glad to be on the servant one more time go ahead and check your row and make sure you're sitting next to somebody who's not here for all the titles and all the grandeur of being in church make sure you sit next to somebody that says I'm just glad to be in the house of God cause there's a miracle with my name on pure seed not destructive seed pure seed and we my brothers and sisters hallelujah we normally gets it gets rooted and when it gets rooted then the enemy shows up to sow a seed of destruction and this is what we call weeds weeds my brothers and sisters are more destructive or better yet weeds are a destructive deceptive folk that live underground to keep root possibly destroying the wheat before it ever germinates my brothers and sisters weeds will branch these long veins in the ground and take root hallelujah on their season many common weeds eat at the grass and are designed to stay hidden and dormant hallelujah so that they can't be discovered until their destruction has already been revealed Ooh, you missed it rewind let me say it again weeds normally hide underground they normally hide in dark places they normally hide in secret places until they've already done the destruction before they blade up in the ground that's why you gotta watch some of this stuff that happens in the back room you gotta watch some of this stuff that happened when ain't nobody looking that's why you got to be careful of all of this social media foolishness because some people do their best work when ain't nobody looking your double shot have you ever tried to figure out why certain people left the church and they were such good-hearted people and they didn't tell you what happened it's because somebody got them when what nobody looking and they sowed a seed of discord but I come to rebuke that destructive function of the weed that comes to choke the growth before the people can get to the place where God called them to be let me keep plowing the ground weeds my brothers and sisters take up space and watch me now hear this and and compete for resources because both weeds and wheat need the same resources to grow they all need sunlight they all need water they all need nutrients they all need space my brothers and sisters weeds are such a distraction they're normally able to grab those resources before the wheat can get what it needs so the wheat can grow the weeds like to get in the way 
because weeds are destructive and they are competitive weeds are more concerned with outshining the wheat rather than being a benefit for nature weeds my brothers and sisters are normally selfish and self-centered it's not about the glory of God as much as it is about them getting attention oh God can I go deeper here weeds hallelujah want to be displayed but not discipled weeds want to be revealed without rebuke weeds want encouragement but not in don't want to be entreated weeds want to be congratulated but not corrected weeds want prophecy without responsibility lord i ain't got no church here because weeds just want the stage weeds want a mic in their hand weeds want glory given unto them but as soon as you rebuke weeds weeds will often run and get messy because when you cut the weed down they normally go get some more weed and grow back up because weeds don't like correction they will stir up mess in your church and try to bring all type of confusion but I need somebody with an anointing to help me preach and declare I rebuke every weed that's in this place the devil is a liar Hobias, I rebuke your destructive tongue I rebuke your messy nature I rebuke your bad habits why you only here to be seen when God is really trying to do a work that's going to develop the church for another place I need some wheat to open your mouth and declare God is going to handle the weeds take your seats here my brothers and sisters the great thing about wheat and weeds is that they both have a focused purpose wheat my brothers and sisters doesn't plan to become weeds watch me here and weeds don't plan on becoming wheat um, they grow in the same area hallelujah for different purposes my brothers and sisters and they are often battling all the time but I need the wheat to be encouraged because mostly what happens is when the wheat sees the behavior of the weeds the wheat often amen throw in the towel they get discouraged and start saying I didn't come to church for all of this uh, the wheat often say I ain't got time for this and before you know it the wheat gets so discouraged when they walk away from the place that God has called them to be because they don't like the image of the stuff they see but when God has rooted you in the house you cannot let the weeds get you so discouraged where you stop being what God called you to be tonight I come to empower the wheat and I come to tell you whatever you do don't you let no nappy headed weeds make you get out of your position you need to stay in place because you know this is where God planted you and if this is where God planted you you can't be moved by the confusion oh God help me preach in here and look down your row and declare I don't care what the devil trying to bring in here tell him I'm rooted in this house this is where God put me and declare I'm not going nowhere I'm going to stand my ground and I'm going to grow like God intended because I'm not the weeds I am the wheat I need some wheat who knows who you are to open your mouth and shout to every devil and witch you will shot run up out of here cause you know your assignment somebody throw your head back and holler I am the wheat you know you are the wheat when you refuse to let weeds bring about hindrance you got to stay in place 
I'm trying to move to my next point. I don't know who it is I'm pulling on in this room tonight, but you got to stay in place. You got to stay in place. You got to stay rooted. You got to stay in place. You got to stay rooted. You got to stay in place. You got to stay rooted. You got to stay in place. You got to stay rooted. You got to stay in place. You got to stay rooted. You got to stay in place. I rebuke the spirit of discouragement. I rebuke the spirit of destruction. I rebuke the spirit that comes to divide. You got to stay in place. The devil is a liar. You're the best shot. We're not going to let the enemy get glory in this house. But doing convocation, I come to water the wheat. And I come to tell you, stand your ground. Get your roots. And declare, I ain't going nowhere. Somebody get real hood up in here. And stand your ground. And tell that devil, I ain't going nowhere. I know this where God put me. I know this where God called me. I know this the assignment on my life. And I ain't going. Oh, come on. I wish I had some hood folk in Atlanta who will put your hand up and declare, I ain't going. Oh. I feel a breakthrough coming in here. I'm moving. My brothers and sisters, I I know I am the wheat because my roots, watch me now, are deep enough to grow around distraction. Let me say it again. I know I am the wheat because my roots are deep enough to grow around distraction text reveals this to us God has high hopes for his wheat listen to the plan of correction the story says they went out and sowed good seed it goes out sow good seed everything look good they go in the house because they believe everything going to be alright but then guess what happened the parable says through the night the enemy, the folks who are against the growth in the night, huh? They don't do it in the light. They ain't that bold. Y'all don't want to have this kind of church. They real punkish, you understand. At night, they come in so tears amongst the wheat oh yeah the Bible says they come back and tell the master sir I, I know you sowed good seed I like the text good pure seed is what the text says and they said but well, we don't know what's happening here it looked like there's a mess in the garden oh God looks like the garden is all jacked up look like the enemy is causing great confusion in the garden and I thought for sure when I read the text hallelujah that God was going to have a great plan on how he was going to handle it I thought he was going to call the prayer warriors to come and shoo shoo shut up behind them all. you understand I thought he was going to do something real big but look at the mode of correction when they go to the master and say how do we handle the tears of amongst the wheat look at what he says he says chill out let the wheat and the tear uh, grow together my brothers and sisters I don't know who I'm preaching to in here but I need to put this in your soup while I'm in your kitchen and tell you whatever you do just keep growing oh I'm in the wrong church oh God I don't care how crazy it look I don't care how bad it look I don't care how it looks in your life I don't care how many people are against you if you want to make the devil mad in your life you don't stoop to his level and go to arguing with the devil but the best way to make that sleuth footed devil angry is to keep growing while they talking keep growing while they gossiping Keep growing while they running your name in the mud. The best mode of attack is growth. Because what the enemy can't.
can't stand is seeing you still rise while he's putting so much on your character still seeing you rise while he's trying to destroy your ministry I need you to help me preach and scream at somebody and say hey whatever you do just keep growing and I got some folk that's gonna grow in here I dare you open your mouth and shout cause you can say what you will but I'm gonna grow anyway watch me here watch me watch me the seed of the weed has already had to survive so much just to get rooted my brothers and sisters so when the seed actually gets deeply rooted nothing can shake its process to grow uh, please hear me I know the word is exciting but I want you to hear the details my brothers and sisters you've heard Jesus speaking these parables of the seed and its process of catching root the whole text Jesus concern is just that the seed takes root because what Jesus understands is that if the seed takes root nothing can hinder it uh, yeah. all right come a little closer let me see if I can make it more plain uh, if you keep reading the text before you get to verse 13 you gotta start in verse number three watch what he says he says listen a sower went out to sow and when he went out to sow he says birds came and ate up the seed he says other seeds fell on fell on rocky ground where they did not have much soil and they sprang up quickly since they had no depth of soil but when the sun rose uh, it was scorched and since they had no root they withered away he said other seeds fell among thorns and the thorns grew up and choked them he says oh but there's other seeds that fell on good ground on good soil and brought forth fruit he says some a hundredfold some 60 fold some 30 fold he says all I need you to do is to survive the enemy trying to stop you from getting rooted if you can just get rooted you ain't got to worry about the growth where the enemy wants to stop you he wants to stop you from getting rooted so before you can get rooted deep he tries to send the vultures he tries to put you amongst messy church folk he tries to get you scorched in the fire of the different traumas that are around you he tries to put you amongst thorns and thistles and the politics of the church because the enemy understands if I can just choke you out before you get rooted in me then I can stop you from ever going to the place that God assigned but if you ever get rooted if you ever get rooted if you ever get some roots in the ground if you ever get planted right I don't care what that devil tries to do the hand of God will put himself on you and he will allow you to grow amongst anything around you I gotta get out of your way soon church but before I do I just need you to grab somebody's hand next to you and say neighbor I just need you to get good and rooted because if you ever get good and rooted tell them God's gonna come get you himself and he's gonna pull you through the pain he's gonna pull you through the dirt he's gonna pull you through the disappointment he's gonna pull you through the backstabbers he's gonna pull you through the stuff that ain't looking right on your life and he's gonna make sure that you grow anyway pull that neighbor by the hand and holler at that name in the face and tell him whatever you do in this season tell him grow anyway yank him a little while and tell him grow anyway pull him a little bit and tell him grow anyway through the storm through the rain through the heartache through the pain you better grow anyway if I got some folk that don't mind growing wave your hand open your mouth and shout shut it 
I feel a breakthrough coming in here. I tell you, get out of your seat and go run and find about five people and tell them, grow anyway. I know it's tight in here. I know it's packed. But I need some crazy people to open up your mouth and declare, grow in it. I said grow anyway I gotta get out of your way tonight but I also gotta give you this while I'm sitting in this room that I heard the Lord say that the enemy is going to try to distract you the enemy is going to try to destroy you the enemy is going to try to hinder you but I need you to know tonight that no matter what the enemy tries it ain't going to work because you've been rooted in the things of the Lord Lord I wish I had time tonight because if I had good time I would walk you over to Psalms and number one where he says blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of the sinner nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful but his delight is in the law of the Lord and in that law doth he meditate day and night I got a Bible church and he shall be like a tree that's planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in due season here's the good part his leaf shall not wither and whatsoever that man doeth that shall he prosper please please do me a favor and grab your neighbor grab your neighbor grab your neighbor by the hand and tell him neighbor I'm grabbing your hand because the Lord wants me to prophesy to you and tell your neighbor you got good roots on you and because you got good roots tell them the Lord is getting ready to pull you into a season where you shall prosper I need some prosperous folks to wave your hand in the air and to open your mouth tonight and to praise God because God he's getting ready to cause glory to come out of your life God he's getting ready to cause grace to hit you where you are if I'm preaching to you tonight I need you to praise him because of the glory that's down on the inside I got a close I got a close I got a close but before I close tonight can I tell you why he can't destroy the wheat he can't destroy the wheat because in every piece of wheat there's a seed living on the inside and the reason he can't destroy the wheat is because he gotta get the seed that's living on the inside because wheat produce wheat and wheat produces wheat and wheat produces wheat and wheat produces wheat and wheat produces wheat please look at your neighbor and say hey neighbor I am the wheat and because I'm the wheat I gotta keep on producing because I'm the wheat I gotta keep on growing because I'm the wheat I gotta keep on giving I can't quit where I am but the Lord has something down on the inside that's producing a 
weight of glory that's in my life. Please grab the neighbor's hand and say, hey neighbor, I'm grabbing your hand and I'm pulling on you because you got more in you. You got more glory in you. You got more power in you. You got more strength in you. You can't quit here because you got too much in you. Y'all ain't grabbing nobody but grab. Grab your neighbor by the hand and say, hey neighbor, I'm pulling it out of you. Come on church, go to grabbing that neighbor. Tell him, come on, I'm gonna pull you to glory come. I'm gonna pull you to an anointing comes. I'm gonna pull you to the favor comes. I'm gonna pull you until strength comes. I'm gonna pull you until fire is burned. I'm gonna pull you until something in you begins to wake up for the glory of God. If I got a church tonight who knows you're the wheat, I need you to go to leaping like you can feel the fire of the Lord on the inside. I'm not the wheat, but I'm the wheat. I'm not the tear, but I'm the fruit. I'm not the bottom, but I'm the head. And I want to testify tonight. Troubled water. He's a shelter in the time of storm. And every time I call on Jesus, he always, yes, he always come to see about me. Shiny eye, shiny eye, shiny eye. I am the weak. I am the weak. I need all the weed and hit all the your mouth and shout. Let the weed and the time let it grow together and go. Is gonna do the separating. I'm closing here, but he want me to prophesy and say, Pastor Mark, be encouraged because the Lord has sent good seed here, and there's a growth that's not just happening numerically, but there's a growth that's happening spiritually. God is developing a nation within this church did y'all hear me tonight i said the lord is developing a nation within this church because the seed of glory has been birthed in this house i'm gonna close i'm gonna close but the seed has good power according to Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 the Bible says that the seed of the woman shall bruise the hand of the serpent what the Bible says there's a little boy can y'all walk the Bible with me by the name of David he kills a giant by the name of Goliath they cut the head off and they take it outside of Jerusalem Goliath of Gath Goliath of Gath Goliath of Gath the etymology of Golgotha 
is Goliath of okay. Gath. Well, every time the Israelites were killing the enemy, they would cut the head off and they were taken to the place where Goliath of okay. Gath head is. In the Old Testament, it's Goliath of Gath. In the New Testament, it's called Golgotha. In the church, we call it Calvary. Well, on a hill, far away, stood it on rugged cross. It's the emblem of suffering and shame. And Jesus said, if you lift me, I'll draw. But if you drop me, I'll kill. Well, they lifted him and his heel bruised the hand. The seed of the woman killed the seed of the sin because the seed is the wheat that keeps on growing. Well, they took my Jesus and they put him in a barrel too. But three days later, he got up and said, Oh, death. Where is your sting? Oh, grain, where is your hole? And Jesus, who's the wheat? Jesus, who's the seed? He destroyed the enemy. Please look at your neighbor and say, Hey, neighbor, I need you to leap. Because as you leap, your heel is destroying every trick every scheme every plot and the whole go to leaping 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 because your heel is bringing destruction your heel is bringing glory your heel is bringing power I am the weak. I am the weak. I am the weak. Get out your seat. Walk in this room and tell somebody I am the weak. I am the weak. I am the weak. I am the weak. I said I am the weak. Find somebody and say hey neighbor. I am the weak. Lord told me to come tonight and to speak prophetically because the enemy would like to call what's happening here at Spirit and Truth just a gathering when it's really a major garden of seed producing seed producing seed producing seed Producing seed, producing seed. There's a glory here, but amongst the wheat, there's some weeds. That at nighttime, the enemy dressed them up as wolves in sheep clothing. But I want to prophesy in this house and tell y'all, I don't care how many wolves the devil sin. I don't care, Andoboshia. I don't care how much, amen, how many tears and weeds may be in the vineyard. God told me to tell this house, whatever you do, just keep growing. Hayobo Shabbat. 
I need somebody who gonna take that for yourself take it for your business take it for your marriage take it for your house take it for everything around you I want you to lift your hands and prophesy it to yourself and say I don't care what happens I've been summoned to just keep growing Shut up behind you behind I speak to every entrepreneur, praise them, sister. I speak to every business owner. I speak to every family. I speak to every person in this room. And this is your word at the convocation. No matter what happens, just keep growing. I need to hear you. Just huh? I can't hear you. Hear you spirit and truth. 